It'll stop. It'll stop eventually. So two of my favorite things in this world is paramotors and tacos. It's actually been a while since I've made any videos because I have been so busy teaching people how to fly that I've not even hardly had a chance for myself to go do any like personal paramotor missions. And this is something that's been on the books for a while. It was like Dave Ruff came out to play. We're gonna maybe order some tacos. Is this good content? Hey, are y'all allowing dine in? Yes, sir. All right. I'm gonna come eat some tacos then. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. All right. Yes, sir. Bye. I think we're recording. Got the helmet on. Got a 90 degree crosswind. You know, all the good stuff in life. My glasses got damn grit or grass. Oh, yeah, that's right. I mowed this place earlier today. Look at this beautiful manicured yard out here at this airport. But I got dirt on my glasses. I need to wipe those off before I go fly around. Sweat and grass and dust and every other manner of thing that sticks onto these glasses. Get that all off of there. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Wings laid out. Motor's fueled up. Maybe turn on my Cena music. Why not? I'll stick my phone down here. Might as well throw a tether on it. I'm thinking we should do a forward launch. Let's do a forward. My shadow makes me look so fat. Clip. Ah. There we go. I got this thing running straight up the hill here. You think I can do it? <laughs> <laughs> One nine hour crosswind? Yeah, why not? Let's go. Woohoo! A little crooked, I made it. I remembered how to do it. Like a turbulence? <laughs> Where did Dave Ruff go? He's up here somewhere. There he is. A bit uh, thermally, thermally out still. That's acceptable. So I think I'm going straight over here. But I need to go left a bit. Just kind of on a taco run. Taco run, baby. I'm so hungry for some al pastor. I'm drooling in my mouth right now. Nom, 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 nom. Maybe the exhaust will stay on long enough that I can get there and get back. We'll see. <laughs> Good day, bro. Oh, no. My friend Glenn had a heart attack. Dang, we're about the same age, too. Maybe I should start living better. I don't know. Yeah, I'll put my phone down. Actually fly my paramotor. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, it sucks about Glenn. He's my skydiving friend. Seen him just the other day. We share the airfield out there at Gillum. I just walked in to find you here without that look up on your face. You suck! I'm sorry, I don't mean to sing. It's a bad habit. We'll get a little lower, penetrate a little better, you know. PPG mission number one. I usually don't have these missions where I like, like, hey, I'm gonna do this thing. Well, hell, even this one wasn't really super pre-planned. I've thought about it for a really long time, but I've never actually got around to doing it. So it's kind of weird. Let's see what the wind's doing down there on the water. It's hard to read with the twinkly twinkly. It feels like it's due west here. Now the landing strip in front of this taco place, it's like straight north-south with roads and stuff, so that's interesting. The wind was cycling, you know, up and down, left and right. We'll feel it out, see what we get. Oh, now go. Whee! Oh, there's Dave Ruff behind me. I had to do a, I had to check my six real quick. Oh, I wish I had some more wind indicators down here. I'll just do a crosswind landing, I guess. Let's get on the controls, I reckon. Now I know there's power lines that cross the road right here and there's some that parallel it too. Damn, 
floating along. Okay. The most dangerous part of the mission is going to be crossing the road. I'm going to go for it. That was the scariest part. Huh? Hold on. Do I know? Oh, at the airport. Yeah, I teach, I teach a school how to, how to, I teach people how to fly. And I'm addicted to tacos. <laughs> I heard there was a call in for some tacos. Just the tacos? Yeah, yeah, there's a couple of tacos. Six dollars, that's it? How about 20? <laughs> Are you flying right now? Yeah, I landed out in the in between the roads. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my buddy's out there too. Oh. Thank you. You're good. How are you? Good. Are you Kyle? I am. Hey Kyle, Terry Hughes on the Cat Truck Essential. Oh, cool. Love love your dad. Good guy. Yeah, he's a hoot, isn't he? Yeah, you know how to make an entrance, so uh, we were coming up from down south. I said he's getting lower and lower. I hope he's landing. We'll see y'all. Picnic. You, you don't want one? No, actually I'm... <laughs> How goes? What's going on? Oh, not much. I'm enjoying the day. I know that's right. I know if that wind stays, I'd probably walk down there about... Take off going that way. It'd be easy to make a circle going up. Problem is, if I lose power, I may hit those lines. But it's... you got enough room to do a 180 inside the power lines. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm wondering if I landed downwind, because it seemed really quick coming in. It was a crosswind. I was looking at it, yeah. yeah. It was out of the west, kind of, kind of straight at us. We'll get out of here. Mm-hmm. Ain't no thing. We're pilots. We I can, figure. We can take off out of a median. You can't fly in a thermal the way you fly a motor, usually. Yeah. And no cranking and banking. It's a lot of weight shift and a little bit of brake. And the outside brake is how you modulate your turn. Yep. Sort of lock everything in on one side. You're going to level out. You come down on the outside. And if you want to speed it up, you come up. up. You never run out of gas on a pair motor? Nope. Come on now. I always land with at least two liters. Come on now. Come in a liter and a half. With the wind we got up there, man, you'll make it back in five minutes. Oh, I see it. Oh, I see it. Tacos and glory. Tacos. Every mm. time I fly over, you think I'm Kyle. <laughs> I throw this away. Belly full of tacos. A little bit of no wind. <laughs> Laid out in the clover field. Go do a, a Walmart launch. Straight toward Walmart. Good. have a belly full of tacos out past door and be flying my paramotor. Now let's go make sure Dave got it. He don't have much fuel. His confidence is low that he can do this. We're gonna see. Do it Dave. Do it Dave. Oh, it's going left. It's going left. Oh, nope. Perhaps a foot drag down through the median will make him feel better, huh? Ooh, let's turn on some music. Don't know what else to really say about the mission. You know, mission accomplished if we both get back to the airport. I'm gonna loiter around here, see if Dave gets off. If he does, good. If not, I'll come back for him. Nice and glassy calm down there. <laughs> man, man, oh man, oh man. I love paramotors and tacos. They go together so well. Like I can still taste the lime and the dead pig inside my mouth and the cilantro and the onion. Oh yeah, oh yeah, so good. It tickles me. It tickles me to be flying and tasting those tacos. I should actually get some and eat them in the air, but they're so damn messy. Like you really gotta focus on eating the taco. It's hard to do the two things at once. Like you gotta kinda do either or, or else this shit's gonna get all over you. You gotta, it'll get in your throttle hand or something. It'll be something. It just won't be easy. No way it'll be easy. As is par for the course, the most fun I've had making a video in a month. And the thing messes up. GoPro corrupted to something. But just to finish the story, Dave got off on his second attempt. He did a great crosswind inflation, 90 degree turn, taxi down the median, sent it good. On the way back, he, he was worried about running out of gas. He had like a liter and a half of fuel, which was plenty. He had plenty of fuel to get back. I climbed high and got up and my 
I heard a sound coming out of my machine. It sounded funny. Just a notation on hearing sounds while you're paramotoring. Kill the motor. That's what the button's for. Save you some money. What I had ultimately was an exhaust gasket failure. And I had several of those on the pipe that was on there. And I'm going to make a video about the pipe failures that I've had. It's a Moster 185 thing. The pipes fail. That's just a common thing. This wasn't the pipe. This was the gasket. And I think it had to do with the pipe design. We'll talk about that in another video. I don't want to, you know, muck this one up with some other stuff. That's how the story ended. I did a long glide home, power off, spot landing by the truck. Dave come in and landed. It was his first time on that Rush 5. He was feeling it out. It was good, good work, Dave. Tacos were good. Let's get back to the video. So, it appears that the GoPro was dead at a doornail when I landed. Don't know uh, how much of that flight I recorded or if I even recorded any of it. I turned the GoPro back on. It said, I turned the GoPro back on. It says something about repairing file. So my file may be broken. I never seen that before on a GoPro. I have no idea what's going on. I did a long glide in to, uh, I did like a pretend motor out like, but I did like a, a pretend run out of gas. I just killed my motor way up there. Heard a funny sound. A Moster exhaust aftermarket replacement keeps blowing exhaust gaskets. I put it on there tight, lock tighten it, torquing it down proper, still blowing. It's not supposed to beep unless I'm on public roads, right? You don't have to buckle up on the taxiway, do you? I don't know why it keeps blowing that shit. I'm, I'm lost, I'm lost. May just have to go back to a factory pipe after all. I got one sitting there ready to go. Just ain't put it on yet. But that video, if it does work, if I'm able to get it, we are gonna call it Paramotors and Tacos. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you tune back in for more. I'm gonna go home and kick my feet up. Or actually, no, I got projects. I gotta go build some stuff for my daddy. So I gotta go do that. What's up, everybody? Kyle out. <laughs>